Hey, it's Percy. Percy Lane. Uh, just call me Peter, though. I prefer that. I've been reading your resume, and I saw that note you attached. Uh, I guess you don't like long phone banter, huh? Well, I'll get to the point. Welcome to Endro's Tech Museum. As you know, we prioritize sharing the history this franchise has to offer. That means we have to bring in animatronics here from time to time. We've got two animatronics in your area, Sammy and Endro. Both tend to experience errors from time to time that make them more erratic as the hours go by. When it comes to Sammy Sammington, we've equipped you with a bright flash beacon that should be able to deal with them. So bright that it'll blind you for a sec, which means it'll work. When activated, the bright light activates the system restart in Sammy because of an existing glitch in the system. That will sort of put Sammy back where he should be, assuming he's moved at all, which is unlikely to happen. Don't use the flash beacon too often though, or it will run out of uses. Endro, meanwhile, can be dealt with a complex four-step process. This process is meant to combat his movements to escape the area. What's interesting about Endro is that he seems to be fixated on specifically entering the public area and leaving the area of the building that you are in. By all means, you cannot let Endro leave. Step 1. You want to find Endro in the hallways. You can see which hallway he's going to go into from Cam 6 and 7, which will be enabled to you shortly. Step 2. You want to hide. Andrew will instantly look down and look for you, so you want to hide to the side of the doorway so he does not see you. Make sure you hide quickly. Step 3. Now that you're hiding, you need to wait for Andrew's system recalibration to kick in. You'll know it's begun when you start to hear metallic clicking noises coming from Andrew repeatedly. When this starts, leave back to your desk. Step 4. Open your monitor and press the gray signal beam button on the bottom left on the screen on cam 6 or 7. For this trick to work, you need to hit the optimal signal range, which means you have to do the beam in the room farthest from where Endro is. If he's in the left hall, do it in cam 6. If he's in the right, do it in cam 7. By the way, don't use the signal beam too often. It'll mess with the camera interface and cause it to have errors, which you don't want. Once you've done this, Entro should return to either Cam 6 or 7. This sequence is over by this point. If you mess up the first two steps, don't worry. If Entro sees you and is staring you down, you can use your flash beacon to make him return to a docile state. This method, however, tends to have unintended consequences in Entro's system, and also waste flash beacon uses. Only do it if you don't have any other options. That's all I have to say, since you wanted me to make this quick. Shift ends at 5 p.m. Bye bye.
go again. Thank mm -hmm. you. 